What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Marie and I am back with another video guys. Today is Friday guys. On Friday guys we do ministry in our community. We go out and give the word to the people so they can, you know, know about God and know about getting saved and giving their life to God. So guys, today, this is where the vlog is coming from today. So guys, just stay tuned, sit back, relax and just enjoy this video, alright guys? Control everlasting Father. Take full control, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bind up the strong man of this region in the name of Jesus. We we'll put every spirit that is not of you under subjection in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 This evening, Almighty God, we, we worship you. We worship you, Almighty God, for fighting our battles. We worship you, Almighty God, for your edge of protection around us. We worship you, Almighty God. We glorify your name, Jesus, O King of Kings, O Lord of Lord, O conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah. We give you thanks, Lord. 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 We give you thanks this evening. Place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress in God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and butler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flight by day, nor for the pestilence that walk it in darkness nor for the distance get on the glory road get on the glory road heaven is now in view although the road is rough and tough Jesus will carry me through hold me by my hand over in that great land get on the glory road get on the glory road heaven is now in view although the road is rough and tough jesus will carry me through hold me by my hand over in that Great land, get on the glory road. Get on that road. We rode him. He just say, Come. Oh, hallelujah. It's simple me. The invitation is for everybody. Amen. Come. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. As so a when God calling man. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let me tell you something, somebody. That there are some winds that keep on blowing your way. Hallelujah. And it seems like it has no ending. Have you ever gone through a storm? Have you ever gone through a situation? Lord God Almighty. Have you ever feel like your back is against the wall? You don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. Have you ever feel like the world is against you? Have you ever feel like your family is against you? Have you ever feel like your neighbors are against you? Have you ever feel like the world is against you? But that is when Jesus said, come. My God, somebody say, come. Somebody say, come, no man. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. I said, when God is calling us to come, it is not a joking thing. Lord God, it is a serious call. It is a Macedonian call. You don't know, hear me, somebody. I said, when God is calling us to come, he's calling us from a place of sorrow unto a place of rest. Oh, glory to God. Somebody say come. come. Yes, it's you I'm talking to come. Yeah. As nice as you are, God have a work for you to do. As handsome as you are, I say God can use you. You don't hear me, somebody. And that's why the invitation. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. The book of First Peter 5 and verse 7. Tell us, cast all your care on him. For he careth for you. Mighty God, what a care in God. I say, what a care in God. What an invitation. He said, come. Oh, good God Almighty. And then Peter go back and reminded us that he said, cast your care. Good God Almighty. So when you come to him, you don't have to carry the burden anymore. Lord God Almighty, it is an invitation of rest. It is an invitation of peace. It is an invitation of salvation. That God is calling mankind to come. Good God. Almighty. God is calling our backsliders to come back. God is calling you to come. Come unto me. Glory be to God. And that's why Peter said, we must cast our care on him. Why are we walking around with so much burden? Glory to God. Why are we walking around with so much Oh, good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we get an invitation to come. Good God Almighty. The Bible said that Peter said that we must cast our care upon him. Do not give him half and you go back with half. Because the half of you go back with will kill you. The Bible said cast your cares upon him. For he careth for you. I said Jesus is a caring Lord. Am I talking to somebody? I said he cares for you. Why won't you trust him? Why won't you trust him? Why won't you trust him? Why won't you trust the name of Jesus? Why won't you trust the hand of God? Right now I'm standing here. And I'm trusting God for every situation that I may face. I said right now I'm standing here. I'm believing God and I'm not doubting him. That he will make a way for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said he will give you rest. I said God will give you rest. You know hear me somebody. I said he will give you rest from the cares of life. He will give you rest from your frustration. He give you rest from your situation. I said God know how to give mankind rest. I said God that's when you pray that don't be. I said God will give you rest. I said if you try everything I don't know why you continue to go in the wrong direction. I don't know why you continue to listen to the wrong people. I don't know why you continue to read the wrong book. 
Rise from your trouble. Come let it give you rest. Oh, glory to God. I feel God in my soul. Somebody show the blood. Somebody show the blood. Somebody show the blood. Somebody show the blood. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's why he called us to come. Lord God Almighty. Because he knows your situation. He sees your situation. You don't have to die in your condition. You don't have to wallow in your mess. I said Jesus. Come and let him give you rest. Rest. It is so very important yes, that yes. we know that we are tired. Jesus, more, you know, more it is very ever. important when we can examine Jesus, our life. More than ever, my viewers and subscribers. It is very important Jesus is calling it when up. we realize come, that come we come try now. everything. The woman, the mother woman of an exercise book, and she have a red pen. And when the woman begin to ask me some question, you know, hear me somebody. I said the woman begin to write some Chinese language in the book. I know me can't make out what she say. The mother woman tell me if you go back at the zinc fence. The mother woman tell me if you take off my clothes. Lord God Almighty with me seven months old pregnancy. Lord God Almighty. But I can remember weeks before I was asking God to give me a girl. Lord God Almighty, I can remember months before when I when I went to that um Dr. Morgan right up by the church and I do my pregnancy test and Dr. Morgan tell me that I am pregnant. I said, Lord, if you give me a girl, I will give my life to you. I said, God, if you give me a girl, I will give her back to you. I said, when the mother woman tell me to go behind the fence. She beat me in some blue water. Good God Almighty. With me seven months old pregnancy. Am I talking to somebody in Westmead? I said God is calling you to rest. Stop believe the devil lie. Lord God Almighty. I said when the woman beat me in the blue water. The mother woman tell me my sister not beat for three days. Lord God Almighty. And of course I go woman I never be for three days. Lord God Almighty. But when the fourth day come out to get a good shower. Because a three day me never be. Lord God Almighty. When the time come. When the 6th of January come. 1997. And I take him to have baby. At Jubilee Hospital. Somebody say come. Somebody say rest. Good God Almighty. Let me tell you something, citizens of Westmead. I say anything you ask God for, God will give you. I say if you trust God, God will give you rest. If you believe in God, He's a way maker. If you believe in God, He's a promise keeper. If you believe in God, He's a young girl keeper. You know, hear me, somebody. Many times 
Many times we believe the mother part. Many times deception of the enemy because the enemy is a liar and he will always be a liar. And the devil will tell you if you try this. And your friend will tell you if you try that. And your man will tell you if you try that. And your woman will tell you if you try that. But let me tell you something before you try them, try Jesus. Somebody show come. Somebody show come. Come. Somebody show come. Come. My God, come to Jesus, no man. Come to Jesus, no man. Lord God Almighty. I said there are some people who have to take rest. Glory be. Rise up out of your circumstances. It is time to come to Jesus. Let Jesus Christ give you rest. Jesus Christ is your comforter. You hear? Yes. Open your hand. He may go make a way for you. I say, I said, God is going to make a way for you. Do you want him to make a way for you? Do you believe he can make a way for you? Do you? Okay, guys. Um, the service is finished. So I'm just here. Um, just fellowshipping with my sisters and brothers. It was a wonderful service. And, you know, it really, really touched a lot of people tonight all right a few people was there like at the gate and all of that you know and this is what we do on every other friday we just go into the community and um give the word to people who want to hear it you understand even who don't have to hear it them still have to hear it same way all right so guys just thank you for watching and please continue to like subscribe and share all right so god bless all right